Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, talking about uh, ring opening metathesis reactions in the past few lectures. Uh, in this context, we have uh, spoken about uh, two types of ring opening metathesis reaction. One is ring opening uh, cross metathesis uh, and then uh, uh, the other one that we have partially covered or we just uh, mentioned is ring opening metathesis polymerization. Now, uh, one of the uh, key features of this ring opening metathesis reaction is the fact that uh, these uh, uh, reactions occur for substrates uh, which have uh, considerable ring strain and as a result of this olefin metathesis uh, or ring opening metathesis reaction, uh, the ring strain is released and which is supposed to be the driving force uh, for the reaction. This reaction as such is uh, thermoneutral and hence uh, the uh, uh, ring strain release plays a considerable role uh, in uh, driving this reaction forward. So, continuing further <coughs> in our discussion today we are going to uh, uh, take up uh, uh, this subclass of ring opening metathesis reaction uh, in the form of ring opening metathesis polymerization reaction. So, uh, today we are going to be talking about or ROMP. Hmm. Now, uh, usually this uh, uh, ROMP is uh, observed for uh, cyclic alkanes and this is because of the fact that these uh, possess considerable uh, uh, ring strain. So, release of uh, ring strain is sort of uh, provides the driving force uh, for the reaction. observed for and this is primarily because of release of ring strain through our ring opening metathesis polymerization reaction. And uh, this uh, reaction is of uh, considerable interest uh, because of the fact that uh, this uh, has been used in industrially in industrial scale uh, uh, to produce polynorbornin. Is used industrially. Uh, the first romp product is polynorbornin and has been produced uh, about for about more than uh, 40 years since 1976 and has the trade name of Norsorex for which is an elastomer. for special applications. So, what we see that <coughs> this reaction uh, is one of the successful reactions uh, which have been uh, uh, in practice uh, for large scale uh, synthesis and uh, it has been used uh, since a long t uh, time for about last 46 years for polymerizing norbornin. And uh, in this uh, uh, regard it is worth mentioning that uh, in this course as we are covering several reactions which has uh, 
been practiced in industrial scale. So, uh, this particular reaction also falls uh, in that uh, uh, subclass of reactions that we have been uh, talking about where the applications of uh, organometallic uh, chemistry catalyst has made it uh, to industry for large scale productions. So, here we have norbornein. in presence of ruthenium catalyst uh, giving polynorbornein and uh, uh, in this case uh, thing that is worth mentioning that the product is exclusively a, a trans product uh, which is formed. 90 percent trans uh, olefins are uh, formed and this uh, uh, occurs when uh, the two norborneum units sort of uh, comes together uh, and undergo uh, cleavage uh, as is shown over here. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, uh, interesting ex applications uh, uh, for producing polynorborneum uh, which also go proceeds by uh, uh, ROMP. Uh, we are going to uh, now take a look at several other uh, uh, examples uh, uh, which uh, uh, have been used uh, as a part of uh, ring opening metathesis poly polymerizations. And and one of the popular uh, uh, substrate for this is norbornein. And uh, we are going to take off uh, another examples where there are two uh, olefinic double bonds uh, of differential reactivity and uh, uh, the double bond which is uh, more strained or which is part of the thing uh, that undergoes a uh, romp uh, uh, to, under, uh, to uh, uh, sort of provide the polymer uh, and uh, the other one stays uh, intact and um, be used for uh, uh, cross-linking purpose. So, uh, point to note as uh, that uh, C C double bond in ROMP polymer can be used uh, for cross-linking making branch polymer or something all that cross-linking purpose. A uh, nice example is uh, demonstrated in this particular substrate uh, which has two olymphonic double bond. And what is interesting is that uh, in presence of uh, tungsten catalyst, it gives uh, uh, the ROM polymer as is shown over here. And uh, thing uh, to note is that uh, uh, of the two uh, only of the two olefinic bond, uh, the only the one which is more strained or uh, this particular uh, bond undergoes a uh, 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 romp uh, to give the polymer whereas, the other bond remains intact. remains intact uh, due to uh, 
differential reactivity. And as a result, this uh, uh, this double bond uh, can be used for cross-linking reaction. Uh, so, uh, what we what uh, what is interesting about this example is that even though there are two uh, 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 olefinic uh, bonds, the one which is highly constrained undergoes uh, ring opening metathesis polymerization to give the product whereas, the other bond uh, remains intact uh, uh, and uh, that can be used uh, for cross linking uh, um, applications. We are going to uh, take, uh, uh, take a look at some more other uh, interesting applications of ROMP. And in this case, uh, uh, the substrate is cyclooctane for which the CC bond Uh, in cyclooctane undergoes romp as shown below. at least and the product is uh, and as observed in the earlier case in this present case also about 60 to 80 percent uh, trans uh, products are uh, uh, obtained and uh, this uh, trans is uh, with respect to the you know with respect to the double bond over here and it seems uh, that for uh, metathesis uh, polymerization uh, the trans uh, this product is the more uh, stable product and uh, the crystallinity crystallinity of the compound depends on the trans component and uh, with increasing with increasing trans component crystallinity increases. So, uh, 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 this is uh, something which is uh, uh, interesting correlation uh, that uh, the stable olefin uh, usually is obtained as the major product uh, which is uh, the trans olefin and also increasing uh, amount of the trans olefin uh, the, um, the substrate uh, the product uh, polymer product become more crystalline in nature. Now, uh, as far as the uh, romp is concerned particularly the catalytic active species for the polymer uh, is fixed at one end of the growing chain uh, and which sort of helps propagate uh, uh, the polymerization process. Uh, 
romp uh, mechanism one uh, critic, uh, special particular attribute about uh, the romp process is that the catalytically active species species is fixed at one end of the growing chain and this is sort of uh, give rise to live in uh, polymerization. So, what that uh, implies is uh, shown by the cartoon uh, drawn over Hilo. Uh, so, if this is a, a polymer, then the catalytic acid species uh, sort of uh, is fixed at one end and when another uh, monomer, monomer comes, uh, let us say for example, this is a monomer uh, that uh, 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 gets inserted into the uh, uh, polymer and and uh, uh, the polymer sort of increases in the end, but the chain A, uh, the active species is always uh, found in the uh, end. Uh, so, active species remains uh, at a chain end all the time. as romp polymerization propagates. So, that is uh, interesting attribute which sort of helps uh, uh, in different kind of applications uh, for uh, romp. So, for example, if all the monomer of one type get consumed, then uh, the chain end is still active and it can uh, do polymerization uh, with a different uh, kind of monomer and as a result one can get uh, block poly, uh, uh, polymerization or uh, polymers of two different uh, types joined together uh, as is shown over here. So, subsequently once the first monomer ends Is, is is fully consumed the reaction continues uh, with a different monomer giving And uh, this is uh, sort of illustrated uh, in obtaining uh, a polymer uh, which is of two different uh, types as is uh, uh, shown uh, here and they would have different uh, properties. So, uh, uh, this is uh, one block and the and uh, this is another block and together uh, 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 they would thus uh, be called uh, block copolymer. So, uh, uh, this is an interesting uh, application of, uh, 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 of romp where uh, the uh, active species resides on the chain end and the polymerization uh, uh, can proceed. Uh, now, uh, the uh, this active species uh, uh, in the chain end is usually a uh, metal uh, CH2 uh, unit uh, which uh, propagates uh, uh, the polymerization and this unit can be deactivated by reaction uh, of carbonyl uh, compounds 
and then uh, the propagation can be uh, stopped. So, interesting thing to note is that this active species uh, which is nothing but this unit uh, uh, can be deactivated and be deactivated by react reacting reaction with with carbonyl group through Wittig reaction, the famous Wittig reaction. And uh, uh, so, the polymerization can be stopped by reaction with Wittig reaction uh, by reacting uh, uh, the metal carbene chain end with uh, carbonyl group to give Wittig reaction and this helps to obtain narrow uh, uh, mass distribution, narrow PDI or a narrow uh, polydispersity index or mass distribution. So, uh, this is a nice example uh, whereby uh, the propagation of a uh, active chain end is stopped by uh, reacting uh, with ca uh, carbonyl compound to give uh, this carbonyl compound to give uh, the uh, deactivated uh, chain uh, without the active species through Wittig reaction and this was successfully demonstrated by Schrock uh, in uh, 1990. So, uh, with uh, uh, this uh, uh, we sort of come to the end of the discussion uh, uh, talking about various uh, types of uh, ring opening metathesis examples and we have so far discussed in the last few lectures several examples on uh, of ring opening across metathesis as well as ring opening uh, metathesis polymerization uh, and now we move on to another uh, a kind of olefin metathesis reaction which is uh, just the opposite of ring opening metathesis reaction and they are popularly co uh, called as ring closing metathesis or RCM. metathesis or RCM. Now, ring closing metathesis is kind of uh, uh, more common uh, than cross metathesis and there are several examples. Uh, so, it is a reaction which is uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, more commonly observed RCM is more common. than cross metathesis or CM and uh, uh, this has been successfully used for synthesizing uh, unsaturated uh, large unsaturated macrocyclic compounds as is shown over here. An early example includes the synthesis of unsaturated macrocycle involving RCM. And uh, this is given by the equation as is shown here. CH2 whole 7 is a ester CH2 whole 7. are in presence of 
tungsten hexachloride and CP2 titanium dimethyl giving this cyclic ester plus the trans all fail uh, in 18 percent yield and this was reported by Suji in 1980. So, uh, an interesting thing to note here is that uh, this ring uh, closing metathesis is uh, however uh, opposite uh, to that of ring opening metathesis where ring strain sort of drives the forward reaction. And in this case uh, 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 ring closing is just the opposite where rings are formed, but uh, please note that uh, these rings are really large uh, 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 rings uh, so that the ring strain uh, are not formed as a part of the ring because the rings are really large and they are sort of like there is not much uh, of a ring strain significantly is strong uh, to stop the reaction. And also uh, this probably is driven by uh, the entropy because uh, uh, from one molecule one gets two molecules. So, there is an entropy factor uh, which sort of uh, guides uh, uh, the formation of RCM products. So, uh, with this uh, we come to uh, the end of today's uh, discussion where we have started with ring opening metathesis polymerization. We have looked into various examples of ring opening metathesis polymerization. We had looked also into the mechanism uh, by which the ring opening metathesis polymerization propagates and what we had discussed that uh, there is a Mm, uh, the active species lies at the uh, polymer, uh, one, uh, one end of the polymer uh, chain and, and as the monomer comes it just gets uh, 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 inserted into the polymer with the active species always residing at the chain end. And when and this happens in a living fashion when one polymer, uh, 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 one monomer gets consumed a second monomer can also be inserted in the uh, chain end uh, through the growing polymer chain and this results in a new type of polymer called block copolymer uh, which has two different polymers uh, attached uh, to a single polymer chain. And then uh, finally, one can stop even the polymerization process by deactivating the metal carbene active species in the chain end. And this is done by reaction with ketone uh, which uh, results in a Wittig reaction. And this usually is done to control the uh, uh, molecular weight of the polymer uh, to obtain a narrow molecular weight range polymer and this was successfully demonstrated. Uh, by uh, Schrock in 1990. So, with that uh, we had uh, uh, finished our discussion on ring opening metathesis polymerization and also initiated the discussion on another type of metathesis particularly the ring closing metathesis which is opposite uh, of uh, the ring opening metathesis. And uh, we had include examples where uh, a large uh, macrocyclic uh, uh, unsaturated rings are formed uh, using the ring to, uh, uh, closing metathesis. Uh, polymerization. One thing to note how, uh, however, is the fact that these macrocyclic rings are so large that there is no not much stain generated uh, uh, in the ring closing process. As a result, uh, these products are obtained as per will. However, to note that the yield was also not too large, about 18 percent as was uh, discussed. So, with this we come to the end of today's uh, uh, discussion uh, on uh, various uh, types of olefin metathesis reaction. Uh, we started with RO ring opening metathesis polymerization and we ended our discussion on uh, RCM. And we are going to be taking up a uh, lot more examples of uh, ring closing metathesis when we uh, meet next uh, uh, in the course. Till then, goodbye and thank you.